Welcome back everyone. We're out here on the river with my buddy Alex right here. We're gonna be doing a little bit of trout fishing today. So it's a nice cool morning. We've had this cool weather for a little bit and uh, figured it was a good time to hit the river. So we're gonna see if we can't get any on. Man, we're gonna see if we can't get any on. Why can't I talk today? We're gonna see if we can't get on any trout today. So Alex, you have anything? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, I was about, I was just out flying the drone. Alex had one on, and then I was about to comment for you guys, and he just got another one on right there. Good little brown trout. Oh! Oh. I didn't need that dip anyway. I don't think you're getting that back. I'm not. Well, I'm not sure if you could hear me or not right there, but I was about to pick up my camera right after I got done flying my drone to tell you guys that Alex just had one on and got off. And right as I picked up my camera, he had another one on. So that's two for him today. Um, the one was right by him. He went to grab it and it slipped off the hook as he went to grab it. And then he just got that one. The first one was bigger. So now that I got my drone back put away, we're gonna grab my rod, get over there with him, and hopefully I'm gonna get on a trout now. So he's got two, well, one and a half. So let's see if we can get on some more. That shows how much you used to fish here. Right. You know exactly where the stuff is. I used to stay in that hump. And a two, two tree went that way. So I mean, used to live one. And I used to uh, just cast down there and let it sit. And I'd reel it in like a few inches. There's one down there, or on the other side. Well, let's see if there's any others just sitting over here. She said just cast and then just kind of let it do its thing. Yeah, you should feel it. I feel it, feel jerk. Working, working, I mean, working on its own, right? Yep. It's actually a good idea. Huh. I would have been happy with that last one you caught. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> about it, man. You're like, I just wanted to fish. Yeah. Oh, there's one. That thing slammed it. Holy crap. That's like the same size as your last one. I've got him real hooked now. Like all the barbs are in him. You mind grabbing him if he gets close enough? Just so he doesn't get off. <laughs> Thank you. Then you mind holding this one last time? Well, I'll let you put your phone away first. All right. We're getting this guy right back in the water after we got a few pictures. He took right on off. Just hit the current and went down there. Yes, sir. Alex hooked me up with the stuff to use right now after he caught his two. And I got lucky enough to get mine now. So three trout for the day yes sir sweet maybe we can get some more now oh that dude he screwed himself well he really made it so i he wasn't getting off no matter what because that bottom hook got in his stomach yeah that's that's one thing i hate about using double trebles man. yeah like, i'm happy got a fish that's all we can ask for 
I would not have thought about throwing a jerk bait for trout. Well, after Alex told me what to use over there, end up going and I caught a trout now. So we're both on the board for a trout. He's got two, I've got one. Well, he's got one and a half and I got one. So we'll count it as one and a half since he almost got it. But, participation trophy for me. Yep, participation for him. So we're gonna keep on walking and hopefully get on some more. Is that school? Yeah. Still a couple of trout mixed in with them. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, dude. Look at that. I know. Come on, I just want to catch one trout. I'll throw you back, buddy, I promise. Those things are everywhere down there, dude. Come on, just let me catch one. They keep on just nibbling on the tail. Yeah, that's the... There's a trout. See it? I just saw a flash. It was right over here towards the right, almost underneath that um, that stick. It was just a little one. I saw the flash and saw some more yellow. I'm like, that's not yeah, a creek, Jeff. Oh, I got a stick fish. And then I just made them all well, separate. I thought it was a fish. But it was too bad. I did too, because it felt like it was fighting. Oh, there's a trout, there's a trout. It was, I saw something zipping over there and it came right here and went right underneath that log. Oh, another one. See that one? Yeah, I saw it last second. What are the odds of that? Just standing here and seeing two trout go right on by. I don't know where they went. I thought the one went underneath. Kind of like what bass in the middle of summer. They love that shade. It's weird that trout love it though. Maybe just because it's cooler water and that they're cool water fish. Yeah, I, I don't know, like back there they were just jetting wide open. You know, they were everywhere. Yeah, I'm surprised that one fish got off for you since it, it was a uh, on a jerk yeah. bait. Right. How did it freaking throw a treble hook like that? With how tough a jaws that trout have. Yes. I would have thought the thing would have stained pin really well. If they're biting them on spinners, they're, they're going to bite on whatever. <laughs> Jeez, that thing looks heavy. We weren't really having any luck on the swim bait, so might as well try something else. I think up there where we saw all those fish that we may be able to get one right there on it. Yep. So we're just going to kind of cast and walk as we cast. Oh, there was, there's two. Yeah. One of them just went this way and one of them went right over underneath that brush. It's funny, right after you said that. <laughs> Two literally took out, took off from underneath this stuff. Well, we're heading back towards the truck, hitting this one spot again where we caught our fish earlier real quick, just to see if we can't pull off the last fish for the day. So no luck when we went upstream, we saw some trout, we saw creek chubs, everything, but we just couldn't catch any. So we're gonna hit the spot real quick and then after this, uh, probably head back to the truck. Let's get one more fish. I think there's one more hanging around in here. Come on, fish. What in the world? That thing slammed it. Guys, look at the colors on that trout. Oh, he's beautiful. Getting him right back in. Don't want to keep him out too long. All right, it was worth it coming back by here now. Yeah. <laughs> so, Let's see if there's any more just swimming around right in here. They're not the biggest trout by any means, but they're a blast to catch. Holy crap. I was actually about to reel that thing in too. I, I actually was reeling it in. Oh, there's another. Back to back cast. Come down here and cast right here. Yeah, that one's a nice one. 
if you can just get one kind of almost at water level. Oh, trying to get a picture and he gets off, guys. No, that was a better one. What, 15, 16, maybe? Oh, yeah, that was, that was 16 easily. That's... Did he get one as I was? This is what we got. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I got him on camera. Dang. I should have just got a normal picture. Well, what did you think of the day? It was a great day, man. River was river was kind of low today, but uh, we tore it up, man. Yep, we ended up getting five total, well, four and a half total, we'll call it five. But it was still a great day. Glad we stopped right there at the end. I didn't get a picture of my last trout, which was my biggest, which was a bummer. He scored, he got out of my hands right as we were trying to get a picture, but still a great state day. State record, brown trout. State trail. record, no. 22 it was pounds. Probably a 16 inch, 15, 16 inch, or maybe easily, uh, easily. May, around there at least, maybe a little bit bigger. We're not gonna over exaggerate it though. But hopefully you enjoyed this little river episode. We will be back out here with Alex here soon on the river. Hopefully when it gets colder and hopefully we'll get on some bigger ones. So anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one.